What's up guys, it's Dom. I'm actually back in my garage now. Summer is slowly fading away here in the Central Valley of California. It's not too hot in my garage. So I'm back and I have about an hour before I'm gonna head to Bulldog Stadium to shoot the Fresno State Bulldogs versus the Cal Poly Mustangs. So the gear that I'm gonna shoot with tonight is traditionally used at some of my NFL assignments. Since I don't have an NFL assignment this week, I'm actually gonna help my friends out at Fresno State Athletics and help them capture the Bulldogs playing the Mustangs tonight. I posted a clip of the Bulldogs home opener a couple weeks ago of me shooting a touchdown pass and got a lot of great comments and responses off that on Twitter and Instagram. Um, so thanks for the love. And this is the lens that I was shooting on uh, in that particular clip. This is my go-to lens for any daytime games. I mean, you can shoot night games with this in the NFL, of course. NFL stadiums are traditionally a lot brighter than college and especially high school stadiums. The reason why you need so much light is this little adapter. I've talked about it in previous episodes, but this adapter kills about two and a quarter stops of light. This adapter adapts a B4 ENG lens to a PL mount camera, like my Area Mira, and in doing so, it expands the image to fill the larger sensor. Tonight, I'm actually probably not gonna shoot with this lens. I'm gonna shoot with all cinema glass that does not require an adapter. So since the episode when I kind of walked everybody through all of the lenses and camera gear that I bring to a football game, I've added some gear. This is one of the lenses that I've added this off season. Um, this is an, a prime lens. It's an Airy Ultra Prime 180 millimeter 1.9. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece of glass. Of course, there is no zoom on this lens, so it's all in the focus. This lens is extremely sharp at a T2, so I, I will actually shoot a lot at T2 tonight. One of my favorite shots actually I got with this lens last year it actually is Patrick Mahomes rolling out. He actually got injured on the play in that playoff game which of course took the breath out of Arrowhead Stadium. I kind of started behind Andy Reid and then racked focus to um, Patrick Mahomes as he kind of rolled out towards my camera. They did use that shot in the Inside the NFL show and that was captured with this beautiful ultra prime lens. So I'm excited to put this thing on a hi-hat with my Amira and see what I can capture tonight get some cool postcards, some locked off shots, uh, all at T2 to really have that shallow depth of field. So this is the Duclos converted Tokina 11 to 16. This is the only photo lens that I ever shoot football with. This is great for pregame. The, the 11 to 16 is always in my case because you never know when you need a super wide lens. So the other prime lens I'm gonna to shoot tonight is the Behemoth, the 400 millimeter 2.8 prime lens. Of course, this was a Canon FD mount, um, and then some point in the 80s or 90s, it was converted to a PL mount. This is such a fun lens to shoot. I've said it again, and I'll keep saying it forever. I love this lens, and I love to shoot sports with this lens.
the uh, Fujinon 20 to 120. I've I've harped on and on about this lens. I love this lens, especially for basketball. Football, not so much because it doesn't have the range that my other ENG zoom lens has, but it doesn't require an adapter, so I can use it at night at high frame rates. This is uh, my workhorse zoom lens when it comes to uh, any kind of sports documentary work. So yeah, I'm excited to get down to the stadium. I actually need to leave pretty soon. So, um, okay, time to go.